Welcome CYC viewers. I'm Miro. And I'm Danny. And this is our show, Miro and Danny. Over the course of this series, we're going to be discussing relevant real life issues. And today we're going to talk about time and waste of time. All right, so it's happened again. It's 12 at night and you've spent no time with God all day. You're up. I just need one more hour. Sound familiar? We've all been there, struggling to keep up with time. It feels like every day is a race against the clock and we always finish second. A few hundred years ago, Benjamin Franklin shared the secret to his success. Never leave that till tomorrow, that which you can do today. We've all heard the proverbs, heard the poets and the philosophers telling us to seize the day. But we never really can. We always have somewhere we need to be or something we need to do. I have to floss my teddy bear. Uh, I'm converting my calendar from Julian to Gregorian. I'm having my plants neutered. What? Why do we waste so much time? Well, it may surprise you, but the real issue here is not a lack of time. If we had 29 hours in the day, we would still want 30. So what is the issue? The real issue is not being satisfied in Jesus Christ. Think about it. If you're in a loving relationship, the only thing you want to do is spend more time with that person. It's only when you start to lose focus that you realise you don't love this person as much as you thought to. And we can all get distracted. It happens to the best of us. Oh, oh, so, so, sorry. Well, it won't happen again. Um, where was I? Um, Jonah, a prophet of God, refused to go to Nineveh and wasted time because of his own fears. Saul, a king of Israel, lost his kingdom and himself because of jealousy. Samson, a judge of Israel and the strongest man ever, got distracted and lost direction, all because of Delilah. Mm, damn, those girls can be a distraction. Mm. Paul knew all about this. As he warned us in his epistle to the Ephesians, make the best use of your time because the days are evil. And he also wrote the Romans, the hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. We ourselves were made for God. In Isaiah 47, it says, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, whom I have formed and made. Likewise, we should direct our time and efforts towards the glory of God. Did you know that according to research, couples that spend most time with each other actually start to look alike? That's right, spending enough time with God will literally transform you into the image of Christ. We must ask ourselves, what's really holding you back from spending that quality time with God? Is it a relationship? Is it an obsession? Is it Facebook? Really, how long do you spend online every day? Time it, it may surprise you. Never leave that till tomorrow which you can do today. That applies to our relationship with Christ as well. Open your Bibles, learn those Psalms, Spend that time with God, no compromises, even if it means giving up a relationship or closing down your Twitter account. Even wake up half an hour earlier if you have to. There will come a time when minutes will cease to pass and seconds will stand still. And when we're knocking on heaven's door, we won't regret the things we did do so much as the things we didn't do and wish we had more time. Time is running out, make the most of it. That's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching and we hope you've learned something. And we look forward to you joining us for the next episode of Miro and Danny. May the peace of God be with you. See you later.